I belong to Lahore by birth, born in Lahore and live in uh, Bank Square, Nilabh Bhav. So, the environment there was Punjab University, Lahore Museum, National College, uh, Mayor Hospital, it was the junction in between the old law and the new colonial British law and the modern law like the world and all those areas. So I uh, was familiar with National College as an art institute because of many years of we also graduated from MC. So I got it, my drawing work good, my taking was okay, uh, shock task. I got admission to the MC and graduated. Uh, then there was uh, three years, and then it was the five year duration of the architecture courses. So I did the thesis on the wall city of Lahore because I thought it is the maximum learning. Wall city of Lahore is almost a city. You have the Grand Mosque there, you have the Lahore Fort, you have about five to six hundred year old human uh, habitation. Uh, consisting of 13 gates. So, old Lahore is a miraculous Lahore based on the pedestrian uh, scale, based on uh, uniform use of the brick craftsmanship. Absolutely local in its character. And there was the uh, uh, identity of adapting the various socio-economic concept of the population. After graduation, I joined the ASR, Dada Associates. But before that, I kept working two, three places also with the part-time job. Like Rehiruddin Khajasab, he used to be the first uh, town planner in Pakistan. He was the first uh, CDA boss, then he was a KDA boss, then he, he was a kind of a consultant for uh, Castle Box yes. for the Turkish architect Dada Koe, who designed the Castle Box. So, Father Sam used to assist him for the implementation as a Capital Development Authority boss. <laughs> so, I had the wonderful experiences of. Uh, working with other people also. But since uh, 76 and 7 onward, I am constantly attached to Naya Dada and Associates. It's a joyous time, it's a joyous uh, process of learning. And uh, um, I believe that we are lucky that we do not have that uh, overriding commercial uh, tradition in this office. Our concern is to discover the best possible compatible architecture 
relevant for our country or anywhere according to their tradition, their values, their past, their history. How you discover the future, how you go ahead. So this is a very delicate balance you require. You cannot ignore your the learning process from historical values, cultural values. We have like Mohenjo-daro, Harappa, Indus Valley, Taxila, we have Galdara civilization. So this is almost about 50 to 20,000 year old civilization around Lahore, around Pakistan, around Punjab, around Frontier, around Shen. So it's a very, very valuable location of the world which still have the largest ball city of the world. We still have the unique uh, combination of different cultures like Buddhism, like Islam, like Sikh, like British colonial period, like we in our society, we have the people of different uh, languages, different cultures, different religion. So for the architect, it is very uh, important to respect uh, the landscape of behavior, culture and attitude. So that whenever you design, you, you have a process of thinking is to respect the environment, the surrounding, the people, their culture, their values. Because our basic target should be to make the user comfortable, yeah. to make the surrounding and the environment comfortable and relevant. Yeah. But at the moment, we are going through a huge uh, the crisis in the country. The crisis is primarily because of unplanned population growth. Uh, we are, you know, still trapped in uh, giving a reasonable system to 220 million people to our population. We are our people, the masses are without education, without hygiene, physical health, without the the kind of reasonable facilities, the services nowadays the so-called modern world deserves. They have the system for their public, for their population, but we don't. And we are not self-sufficient. We are dependent on the world organization for the sake of fulfilling our needs and requirement for our population. It's a sad thing that we are dependent on irrelevant kind of support from outside the world. We should be self-sufficient. We have uh, the wonderful irrigation system. We have the wonderful land resources. We have the wonderful expertise on the part of our rural agricultural uh, population. But because of these mafias, and the corrupt bureaucracies and unfortunately corrupt 70 years of Pakistani history. We are not able to see the light in the future. We are not able to see much of the positivity for the future generation. In architecture particularly, the problem is that in spite of taking pride in our history, culture, and whatever is uh, 
the hard work of millions of people in different civilizations, generally a wonderful history. In spite of learning from them, our direction is like the way artificially planted cities. Our orientation is the complex to the West, which is totally irrelevant to our topography, our geography, our climate, our kind of living. Now we have, uh, as such, the world is realizing about green architecture, which is also it is a, a so-called commercial slogans going on, but practically they are not stepping back on their bad habits. They are still making uh, uh, unbelievable high-tech high-rise in the cities. They are still choking their cities with the uh, without uh, providing a natural environment, but as a uh, fantasy to uh, show off, a fantasy to glamorize, uh, they do portray in this their advertisement and their publicity the kind of loud uh, uh, political, social political drama about the green future and the green architecture and ecology and things. But practically speaking, until and unless every individual adapts a simple life, adapts the life in respect to nature, adapt the minimalist approach, I don't think there will be any big change we can expect. So Dev Swarthakur, but apart from all this practice, let us know sir, how did you start interior design sir? What was, uh, what, what was your theme, what was an idea that you were interested to get an interior, uh, as an interior architect sir? So what was the main reason sir? What thing, uh, which inspired you to come on this line? Actually, you're, you know, like, uh, you're very correct in your question, like, okay, what, are, what is the inspiration? Or if it is not the inspiration, then what is the objective? What is the purpose? I believe that whichever medium you are, using whichever job you are doing, uh, whichever profession you are part of. Morally, you are supposed to educate, inspire. And morally, you are supposed to share the good values and the good direction and the good dimensions which are relevant for the people around and relevant for your society. So as I know that the most complex thing which require a huge effort, which require a consistency of hard work, uh, research and analysis, is to create a simple solution. Simplicity is the most complex uh, achievement. So I believe that uh, interior, exterior it should be part of one character. This process is the characterization. Process is to how to decrease 
the dependency on the artificial means of controlling the climate and the environment, creating the working conditions for the interior. The process is how to undo the stress on the maintenance factor. The process is the durability, the lasting uh, value of your construction system, your design system, your interiors. If you're spending a hell amount of money and resources just to maintain an interior, I think this is then uh, uh, a negative kind of a business. It's a, a negative burden on the resources. So I believe the first priority in the interior is to take advantage of the natural resources, like you have the daylight, the sunlight. It's a wonderful sunlight around the entire Pakistan. So we can take advantage of that and uh, we can work our working hours in such a manner that we don't use much of the uh, electricity and other energy resources. The interior should uh, conform to the burdens and the problems we are facing in this country. So I believe that it should be relevant to stimulate the character. The hospital should, uh, the interior of a hospital should complement the nature of the services, the nature of the patient, the nature of the psyche of the doctors and nurses and the people who are providing services there. The hospital should uh, uh, look after the fragile conditions of the patients and things like that. So you have to study, analyze the psyche, the attitude and the behavior. And the interior should respond to the functional requirement of what the objective of the building is, what are the functions. The interior should complement uh, the vision. Like if you're designing a bus, so the idea is to stimulate the peacefulness. The idea is to uh, vibrate with those values where the religion has the meaning the religion and the mosque and the meaning to communicate to the people that it is a neat, clean, pleasant and uh, statically wonderful space. The character, the uniformity and the sculpture, the simplicity and minimal uh, a dimension around to distract your meditational uh, mood, the attitude while you are listening to the malana or you paying prayers, and the areas like evolution, areas that should be well organized. The, I believe that the building in the mosque should have the, the wonderful symbolic greenery the landscape. Mm. It should worship the nature also. Mm -hmm. So that, that is the, normally uh, you see our design of the mosque, you'll find the big open courtyard, open to the sky. It is like the, the humbleness the mosque has with nature, the kind of a communication of the space and the things. So interior is something relevant to the function. Interior is you have to respond to those functions, which is the objective of the building, objective of the design.
So for what was your first project ever you started in interiors? What was your first project? Um, actually, our first uh, architectural project was also like an interior project, simultaneously. We don't design buildings in isolation with interior. When the concept is being developed simultaneously, the both major chapter of the design, the exterior and the interior, are going through the process of exercise. So you cannot isolate. Interior is not an afterthought. Interior is as much as the part of the design as the entire architectural design. But it's a different nature of things like you have exhibitions. Exhibitions are temporary uh, exhibitions. Uh, an exhibition for 15 days, an exhibition only for four hours. There are challenges of different kind of interior design. So I believe that the architect is wonderful if he is considering the each and every dimension of the interior. Like, for example, I have five, six students coming to me from uh, the uh, uni lots. They were studying there for two years. They came to me with a problem. They said, if we are going to the uni for the last two years, but every day we go there, we lose our way, our direction. The reason was, I instantly asked them, what is the color of the interior of the building and what is the color of the material of the exterior of the building? I have the feeling that it must have been a contrast. So they said the interior is white and the exterior is the brick uh, finishing. So when you have a, a dodging yeah. puzzle, of the color and the character. So you are actually confusing people uh, and the lack of is a strange stress of them to look for the way and the direction and uneasy approach toward using the building. So I believe the harmony in character, the symmetry in character, the relationship of interior and exterior is very important to make the people at ease, the user at ease with the building. What objective most inspired you in interior? What main objectives that you share? I believe first is uh, the priority is I, I normally think I don't want to interfere with the people. I want them to discover themselves, their character. I want them to, if I go into a house, then I should know the owner's uh, character by surrounding the environment and the character of the interior. But unfortunately, most of our people, they copy from magazine, from other net and other, uh, you know, social media and this. And 
they come to us or to other interiors, masters, just because of the name. Not because they are familiar to their requirements. They don't really know, unfortunately, most of our people are very ignorant of their own thinking, their own way of living, their own style. For the sake of granted uh, value of the flow of a train, flow of a uh, system, everybody is just it matters how much money you have input in the year, how much spending you've done, what you have imported from Italy, or what you have imported from Dubai, that matters.